Good morning, my fabulous grade ones. I hope you are well this morning. Well, this is my outfit, a beanie, which has got a little bobble on the back, and horns, and a little um, shining horn here. Uh, that belongs to my daughter, actually. And these glasses as well. All right, are we ready for drama? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, you are going to find the nicest space in the house where you can do some acting and some moving. Alrighty, we are going to start. The first game is Buzzy Bee. You all know Buzzy Bee. Remember, buzz around the room. And then when I say freeze, you freeze. And then I give you a letter. And then you become that. You become something beginning with that letter. All right, are you ready? Okay, let's go. Buzzy Bee, Buzzy Bee, Buzzy Bee. Buzz around, buzz. And freeze. Excellent. And the letter is P for pony or prince or poster. So the letter is P. Are you ready? I'm going to count to ten. One, a two, a three, a four, a five, a six, a seven, a eight, a nine, and a ba -ba 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 ten. Okay, are we ready? So now I'm going to take a magic wand. And I'm going to wave it. And you're, you are going to, whatever your character is, you are going to come alive. So maybe you are a prince and you say, I'm looking for my princess. Or you are a pony and you, mm -hmm. I'm looking for my carrots. All right. Okay. So I hope you have come alive. Excellent. Well done, let's buzz again. Buzz, buzzy bee, buzzy bee, buzzy bee. Buzz around the room, 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 room. Go faster and faster and faster. Excellent. And freeze. And the letter is ba for balloon or blanket or bouncing ball. Okay, think about what you're going to be. Excellent. Think with beginning with a ba. What am I going to be? And you are, I'm going to count to ten. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine and a half, and ten. Excellent. I hope you're frozen there. Okay, now you are going to take I'm going to take the magic wand and I'm going to wave it. And if you are one of those things, if you're a balloon, maybe you are floating. Up, 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 up into the sky. Or if you're a blanket, maybe you're just lying down going, oh, I'm so nice and cozy. All right. Okay, well done. Okay, the last letter for today, we are doing mm. Oh, we were meant to go buzzy bee, buzzy bee. Let's do that first, sorry. Buzzy bee, buzzy bees, buzzy bee and buzzy bee freeze. Excellent. Now you all got a tip at what the letter is going to be. Silly me for saying it first. All right. So the letter is M. So N for ninja. Aww. Or noodle. Or nachi or nectarine. Okay. Or even nectar. You know, little flowers have nectar in them. Well done. Okay. Think what you're going to be. And let me count. The one, two, three, four, five. Is six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, and you are frozen into your position, and I'm going to take the magic wand. And now you are going to come alive. Well done. So if you are a ninja, you are. And look all scary like a ninja. Okay. All right. Great ones. Time for tongue twister time. So now I'm going to put on my other glasses. <laughs> All right. Tongue twister's time is, the tongue twister today is she sells sea shells. So let's do that. She sells sea shells on the seashore. Okay. So try it with me. She sells seashells on the seashore. So she sells seashells on the seashore. Excellent. All right. So everybody, today we are going to go on a movement journey. 
So I'm going to tell you a little story and then you are going to act it out. Okay, are we ready? All right, this is called Under the Sea. So I just want you to close your eyes and you are going to imagine, sorry, my computer's beeping. Stop it, computer. All right, you are going to imagine that, um, I mean, you are going to close your eyes and you are going to listen to my words and just imagine what's happening in the story. Have you ever imagined what it would feel like to live under the water? Okay, so today you are going to become a fish. Yes, and you know who is with me today um, to show you is Penguin from Penguins of Madagascar. Look how cute he's on his tummy. All right, so you are going to become a fish. And do you know what, uh, do you know about different kind of fish? So what about, the first one that comes to mind is Nemo. Um, I love those little orange fish, those little clownfish. They are adorable. Okay, so I can only think what other fish could I think about. An angelfish, um, a barracuda, which is quite a big fish, a tuna, a salmon, um, I'm not sure if you can think of any more. Okay, so, okay, now, if you could be any fish, what kind of fish would you be? And what color are you? Are you purple? Are you, and it doesn't really have to be a real fish. It could be, you can be um, multicolored with um, shining lights going through you. Okay. All right, so think about your color. Okay. And whether you've got many colors or whether you are a big fish or a tiny fish. And do you swim fast or do you move through the water more slowly like a whale? Or you a scary fish or a nice fish? Or would you rather be a starfish that clings onto the rocks? Hmm, not a bad idea. Maybe you'd like to be an eel slithering through the water. Okay, so what would it be like to live under the sea? And how would it be different from living on land? Obviously, totally different. So let's pretend we fish moving through the water. So now you are going to move through the water. Excellent. And pretend that you are little fishies swimming through the water. Remember your color of your fish and say hello to all the other little fish. Hello fish, hello fish, hello fish. Okay, all right. And does your fish have to come up for air like a whale or like a dolphin where they come up and it goes, <sighs> okay. Does it have to do that? Or does it stay under the water the whole time? Okay, keep swimming, little fishies, well done. What kind of things can you see under the water? <gasps> can you see the surface of the ocean if you look up? What does it look like from down here? Oh my, oh, here come some deep sea divers with oxygen tanks, snorkels and masks. Oh, they look so scary. Oh, they're friendly. Oh, they just want to look at us. Okay, you can look at us. Yes, yes, yes. We've got beautiful, beautiful um, colors on us. So, oh, you so relieved about that. Okay, and they just want to look, wave hello with your fins. Hello, hello. Okay. Oh, yummy, you see something up ahead. And it's a worm floating in the water. Oh, delicious. And you swim up to that little worm. Wait, something's wrong. It looks like it's attached to a hook. Oh. We don't want to eat that worm. No, 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 we don't. Otherwise, we'll be on the end of a fishing line. Oh, sure. All right, quickly, swim away. Oh, and now you can see it's starting to get dark. That means it's time for bed. Where do you think fish sleep? Mm, I don't know. What do you think? Okay, find a, find a space and say goodnight to all your fish friends. Okay, good night. Good night, good night, and close your eyes. 
Well done, grade ones. Excellent. Okay, so I hope that you really felt like you were going on an adventure. You know, our imaginations can take us anywhere that we want to go. And you can make a little play about being under the sea. Okay, remember, always in stories, you have a beginning, a middle, and an end. Okay, so remember Finding Nemo? So Nemo and his dad were in their home. That was the beginning, okay? And his dad is terrified of everything. So he wants to go on adventure. Nemo wants to go on adventure and prove that he's brave. But he gets caught in the fisherman's nets and taken far away. This is the middle when his dad goes looking for him. And he eventually finds Nemo after many adventures. And they return home both wiser and braver. And that's the end. Can you see there was a beginning, a middle, and an end? All right. So you're going to um, do this with or without sound. So it can be a mime or you can speak. Okay, I don't mind. It's totally, totally up to you. And you can, of course, dress up. Always in drama, you can dress up. All right. So I've been getting such lovely videos from people being dressed up in their mom's clothes or their dad's clothes or their brothers or sisters and finding funny hats and all sorts of things. Okay, so who are you in the play? Just remember that. Who are you? Are you going to be a small fish looking for something to eat and then come across a hungry shark? Do -dum, do -dum, do -dum. But thank goodness, the shark is vegan and does not eat fish. Only delicious seaweed. Ugh. Okay, you might have a toy or something like that you could find in your house or your garden and that you can magically turn into anything. And that can join you on your adventure. Hmm, interesting. So I'm really looking forward to what you get up to. All right, I hope you have fun acting it out. And here is a poem about fish. Now I'm going to put my fish eyes on. All right, yeah. All right, it's called the Little Fish. One little fish swam in his dish. He blew bubbles and made a wish. All he wanted was another fish to swim with him in his little den. Another fish came one day to blow bubbles while they played. Two little fish blowing bubbles in the dish, swimming around singing. Plish, 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 plush. Well done. Okay, so that's the poem and the end of the class. So let me know what your favorite part of the class was today. Till next time. See you later, alligator. See you later, alligator. Say it with me. In a while, crocodile. In a while, crocodile. Gotta go, buffalo. Gotta go, buffalo. See you soon, uh, raccoon. See you soon, raccoon. Be sweet, parakeet. Be sweet, parakeet. Take care, polar bear. Take care, polar bear. In a shake, gator snake. In a shake, gator snake. Hit the road, happy toad. Hit the road, happy toad. Can't stay, blue jay. Can't stay, blue jay. Bye bye butterfly, bye bye butterfly. Give a hug, ladybug. Give a hug, ladybug. To Lou kangaroo, to Lou kangaroo. Time to scoot, little newt. Time to scoot, little newt. Till then, penguin. Till then, penguin. Adios, hippos. Adios, hippos. Hasta mañana, iguana. Hasta mañana, iguana. Give me a kiss, goldfish. Give me a kiss, goldfish. Get in line, porcupine. Get in line, porcupine. Out the door, dinosaur. Out the door, dinosaur. On the bus, octopus. On the bus, octopus. To your house, quiet mouse. To your house, quiet mouse. Till next time, grade ones, I miss you. Bye.